Welcome in my channel Digital World. In this video, we learn how to draw CMOS layout for NAND gate. So just click on file, select new, click on file again, select foundry, choose CMOS 012.rule file, click on open. Now to draw layout, we want to select MOSFET so just show click on show palette so this is our palette now whenever we want to draw CMOS NAND gate we have to connect to PMOS in parallel and to NMOS in series now to select MOS we can choose MOS generator click on MOS generator and here select PMOS then you can choose width is equal to 0.6 micrometer length is equal to 0.12 micrometer click on generate device and place pmos right again take one more pmos so select <laughs> same width and length choose it click on pmos and generate device so keep here another pmos now we have to connect two pmos in parallel right so we can choose 2 PMOS and connect all, both par C PMOS parallel to each other, right? Now, for both PMOS, we are connecting VDD. So, this VDD is selected. Connect VDD to first anvil. Select again and connect VDD to second anvil. Second one is both source of first PMOS and source of second NMOS are also connected together and we have to connect both sources to VDD. So, we will connect VDD to both supply. So, here also connect VDD and for second PMOS also connect VDD. Next one is we have to connect two NMOS in series. So, click on MOS generator, select NMOS with same width and length and click on generate device. So, click here on MOSFET so this is our first NMOS. Now here we can zoom out. Now again take one more MOS that is of NMOS. So select NMOS and click on MOS generator. Now place one more NMOS here. Now we have to do the connections. So we will go for some symmetrical connections over here. So we will do the some alignments. So select move and stretch. Select first NMOS and keep this NMOS with proper alignment with this PMOS, right? And the second one is we have to go for another NMOS. So, whenever we want to go for another NMOS, then we have to go for the proper alignment. So, just choose this and do the connections like this. So, these two. NMOS we are keeping in series. So, both gate terminals we have to keep near to each other. Right? So, two NMOS, two PMOS are parallel, two NMOS are in series. So, in this way, first we have to do the alignment. The next one is, in case of series connection, this is PMOS, this is NMOS source, this is gate and this is tray. So, we have to do the connection of drain of first NMOS and drain of second NMOS. So, again, we have to do the proper alignment like this. Right? So, the placement of component is very important here. We have to use minimum length of wire and just avoid extra connections. Right? So, choose here VSS or ground and connect ground to drain source of NMOS. Then connect metal, metal of first device is connected with metal of second device. So, drain drain connections are done over here. Now, the third one is we have to do the connection of first input that is of A. So, we have to choose polysilicon and just draw polysilicon like this. So, first PMOS polysilicon is connected with 
polysilicon of nmos right so just zoom it and do the connections properly so we can see here for the first part So gate of first polysilicon is connected to gate of second polysilicon, right? So this is first input we are taking AND gate. So choose clock and connect clock here. Rename this as input A and we are assigning clock. So assign it. So this is our first connection. PMOS of gate of first PMOS is connected to gate of NMOS. Now do the same thing for second one. Choose the second one. You can connect upward or you can connect towards downward. So we are keeping this polysilicon over here. Width remains constant. Check it. Right. So, first connect here this gate terminal with this gate terminal. Keep width remains constant. So, first, first PMOS is connected to first NMOS, second PMOS is connected to second NMOS. Now, this is your next input that is B. So, choose clock and write it here B. This is your clock assign it right other ways you can connect from this gate with this gate so automatically we require small length now two pmos we have to connect in parallel so connect choose metal drain of first pmos drag out drain of second pmos drag out Yes. Then two PMOS are connected in parallel. So connect two drains parallelly. Try to keep width remains same. Right. So here drain and drain both are connected together parallelly. Source and source are connected together. Or we can apply same voltage that is of VDD. And then now last connection. source of your NMOS is connected to parallel connection of PMOS. Yes. So, this shows that how NAND gate is connected. Right. If you want to go for length connection, if the length is more, then you can just click on here, delete some part in the layout and you can just click over here. So, that part will be removed. If you want to remove this part also, then that part also removed. Then if you want to remove this plus, also you can remove it. So in this way, you can use cut and paste method. Then connect polysilicon again. So choose this polysilicon, draw line. Width remains constant. Yes. Then other way is we can connect this gate terminal to this gate terminal right so in this way also we can connect both gates now connect again b so select clock put clock here rename this as b this is your clock assign it so this is our b and finally we have to check output so check visible node Put here output, rename this as OP. This variables user select and assign. Right? So, this is the layout of CMOS NAND gate. Now, go to the analysis design rule check, and you can observe no design rule errors here. Right? Now, connect 
go to the run simulator and you can observe output over here so whenever you want to go for input of NAND gate A is equal to 0 B is equal to 0 output of NAND gate is 1 A is equal to 1 B is equal to 0 output of NAND gate is 1 a is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, output of NAND gate is again 1. Here we can see the last case, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, then the output of NAND gate should be 0. So, in this way, we can change our A and B and we can observe our output. So, this is the power dissipation of CMOS NAND gate that we generated. Again, if you want to change the time scale, select 5 nanoseconds, click on reset. So, this is another waveform we can check. If you want to change this clock period, then you can go to the output window. So, click on OP, right? So, this is your output OP. Then, if you want to change the value of B, click on B, change your high time, low time, then you can change your rise time, fall time. If you want to assign slower clock, if you want to assign faster clock, then you can change, change from here, assign it and again run your simulation. Now you can see here A and B both are same. So when A is 0, B is 0, output is equal to 1. A is 1, B is 1, then output is equal to 0. Here only two possibilities are covered. If you want to check all four possibilities, then we have to keep different on time and off time of A and B. In this way, we can see the simulation of our output. Now save this. If you want to change capacitive load, then you click select palette, use capacitor here, connect here capacitor, change the value of capacitor, value is always in picofarad and click on OK. Again, go to the analysis, design rule check, no errors click here on run simulation and this is the simulation of NAND gate in this case this is our power dissipation if you want to observe other windows you can click on voltage versus current you can check voltage versus voltage frequency voltage time or i diagram but here for us we are checking only the functionality so we can check the graph of voltage versus time only right so, this is the layout of CMOS NAND gate. Thank you so much.